Ah. And it skips the entire part that's talking about rescuing keys. And if you guys have not noticed, when it comes to, uh, you know, what is it? How do you say? Oh, so like a lot of people have been seeing that the keys mission is locked, or they if they do it through the commands, they can't launch it. That is because, if you haven't noticed, when you actually download the game uh, from the uh, the pack, there actually is no file for keys in the page. When you look, uh, when you're first download from the download link, he lists all the map files. There's only ten map files that you transfer over. Nine missions and a UI map. This thing is because the keys mission gets cut. Oh my god, this is hysterical. Dude. <laughs> it's flashing. <laughs> you did that on purpose, didn't you? That's great. We need to get to the bridge. All right. From there, we can use the captain's neural implants to initiate an overload of the ship's fusion engines. How did we get the them? The explosion should damage enough systems below it to destroy the ring. So I don't know if maybe my game glitched and didn't show something, but apparently she says that there's no time to save keys. But again, I don't know. It isn't showing me. Pick the wrong house, guys. located next to the main view screen. All right. Do your thing. I leave home for a few days and look what happens. This won't take long. There. That should give us enough time to make it to a lifeboat and put some distance between ourselves and Halo before the detonation. <coughs> I'm afraid that's out of the question, really. Oh, hell. Ridiculous. That you would imbue a warship's AI with All right. The ship was heavily damaged when it crashed. Head to the cryo chamber. We should be able to get to the engine room through there.
I just thought of something. And I need to try this, actually. Before we beat the actual game itself. Give me one second. Oh, yes, sir. Now this is how this is meant to be played. Oh yeah, we don't gotta worry about this overheating anymore. Oh no, is right. So violent. It's actually fantastic, dude. Alright. Where are we going, Chief? Ah, oh, gotta go to engineering, that's right. Oh, the armory. Yeah, we'll just stick with the uh, good old AR. Engine room located. We're here. Alert! The monitor has disabled all command access. We can't restart the countdown. 
The only remaining option is to detonate the ship's fusion reactors. That should do enough damage to destroy Halo. Don't worry, I have access to all of the reactor schematics and procedures. I'll walk you through it. First, we need to pull back the exhaust couplings. That will expose a shaft that leads to the primary fusion drive port. Alright, y'all, let's do this shit. Good! Step one complete! We have a straight shot into the fusion reactor. Ooh. Analyze it. Fusion reactor number one destabilizing. Use explosives on the other three reactors. That should be enough to trigger a wildcat explosion of the engines. <laughs> She's a wildcat. Only one more fusion reactor to go. That did it. The engine's gone critical. Based on the current rate of decay, we should have 15 minutes to get off the ship. We don't have much time. We should move outside and signal for evac. Accessing schematics. There's a service lift at the top of the engine room. It leads to a Class 7 service corridor that runs along the ship's dorsal structure. Hurry! back now activating final countdown timer when it reaches zero the engine we're gonna do this the easy way the and then come back generate a temperature of almost 100 million degrees oh wait that is Don't not the word i want when it blows. Go team. We 
can't make it on foot. We need a vehicle. Alert. We need to keep moving. Get back in the Warthog. Oh shit. Alert! We need to keep moving. Get back in the Warthog. Oh, get wrecked, Sentinel. Alert! We need to keep moving. Get back in the Warthog. Alert! We need to keep moving. Get back in the Warthog. Cortana, we're in one. Oh, man. Alert! We need to keep moving. Get back in the Warthog. Wait! Stop! This is where Fohammer is coming to pick us up. Right. Hold position here. Cortana to Echo 419. Two Covenant Banshees are approaching on your six. Evade! Say again, evade! I'm hit! Calculating alternate escape route. Ship's inventory shows one longsword fighter is still docked in Launch Bay 7. Alert. If we move we now, we can moving. make it. Get back in the Warthog. Oh, God. This is so painful. Imagine you're a Covenant fighter and you spend your last moments of your life getting run down by a mini warthog. There's a gap in the trench. At top speed, we should be able to clear it. Oh god. Oh man. We're not doing well.
Oh, Chief, this ain't the time. Oh, get your stupid ass out of here. Come on, come on. That's the ship. Move, we need to get aboard now. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. I was expecting a loud oof or something right there. Shut them down. We'll need them later. Fancy a look? Did anyone else make it? Scanning. Just dust and echoes. We're all that's left. We did what we had to do for Earth. An entire Covenant armada obliterated and the Flood. We had no choice. Halo, it's finished. No, I think we're just getting started. That's Halo Curse Edition, guys. More videos on this will definitely be coming. Of course, this is going to be the last upload of the main storyline, uh, walkthrough-wise. Gotta go the other... Oh, Jesus Christ, I can't talk. I got a few other cool ideas, you know, for videos to do, uh, you know, over the next week, couple weeks or so, you know, and whatnot. So, stay tuned for all of that. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed. Check out the rest of the series. It'll all be in a playlist. Uh, and hopefully you enjoy it. Drop a sub if you're new. And thank you guys for watching. And also, of course, feel free to go ahead and download and give this mod a try for yourself. There's all the instructions you need to download the Halo Custom Edition game. You can find a CD key online. And then, of course, there's perfect instructions. You know, easily followable instructions to go ahead and download the mod yourself. And try it out for yourself. So, anyways, have a good one, guys.